so as in the previous videos we have already covered about the sql injection and we see like a user can do something which we never wanted to make this communication and this crude operation even more secure we are going to use the parameterized commands so in this particular video we are going to do the same crude operations but the way to make a command is going to be different and here we will be using the parameterized commands so in the previous video we discussed about the SQL injection and we also covered like how passing the query by making the concatenations and the runtime how can it affect the data at the runtime if some user does the trick now here in this particular video we are going to do the same thing but in a different way and here we are going to use the parameterized commands so uh, the form is same the buttons and the functionality is same but a bit of code difference in the implementation as here I'll not create the query by concatenating the uh, value from the text box and the commands but here what I'll do is I will simply take the parameters so let's discuss about that so I haven't made any change in the add new button as here I'm not asking anything from any control it's just getting the maximum ID and then adding it by 10 now after that what I've done is when you will save this so what I've done I have taken the text of text box department ID text of department name text and the uh, selected value of DDL locations drop-down list so and after that insert into de TBL departments values and here you can see I have passed three parameters you can put anything out here and just make sure that you will be passing add the rate right here these add the rate symbol will make them as a parameter and later you can specify the data type of these uh, parameters and you can also pass the value how as I have done here so it is nothing but just a string in which I have passed this statement later I associated this command uh, variable with this command object SQL command object as I used to do earlier but right after that what I have done is I have used cmd.parameters.add so here since I have passed three parameters dpt id dpt name and location id so I have just passed that and along with that I have also specified the data type here so that here you can see in the department name I have not passed the single quotations so since I have specified like it is of where care so the single quotations will be taken automatically and now here in the first three lines only I have taken the value from the controls so here what I can I do is cmd dot parameters this parameter because it is already being added here I added all three parameters cmd dot parameters then department ID dot value so here like using the value property I assigned the value from these variables to these properties these parameters I should say and now here your command is ready to be executed and the way to execute the command will be exactly same like connection open command execute and connection close so this is how I have passed the parameters in each place like first in the string variable I have passed something in add the rate later I have just used this add the rate symbol uh, and I added the parameter of the same name with this command and after that I will assign the value using the value property so this is how I have done in each of the methods and now they are working fine like here you can see in update as well alright so the way to do the thing is similar uh, as I discussed earlier and I have made the changes in all the respective uh, buttons which I have taken so let's execute it and see whether these commands are running fine or not so here it's a table having four records all right so let's continue let's say add new so 50 is the new department ID then uh, let's say marketing and location let's put London let's say save let's execute it again and here it is alright and the very similar way you can also update the data like here I'll say 30 let's search that here I'll make it IT say update it will be updated alright
So this is how you can just make the change in writing the SQL commands and rest of each and every logic is going to be same. Now in this particular situation if you will uh, repeat that uh, means the way I passed the SQL injection in the previous video it is going to just throw an exception as it will not be a valid value that can be executed.